Hello! Just about to start solving another equation, and I got a great one for today, because we're going to solve a linear equation that has no solution whatsoever. Now the good news is, the process for solving this thing is not going to look different than, say, solving any other normal linear equation. But a problem will occur. All of our x variables, as you will see, will drop away entirely. They'll be gone. And to make matters worse, the only thing left over after the x's are gone will be some numbers that you know, really don't seem to make sense. That will be our clue that this has no solution. So let's work through this problem and see exactly what happens. Okay? So in a linear equation, I want to work to get my x's together. And I'm going to start by factoring in this negative 5. So it'll give me a 13x minus a 5x plus 20. All right, things look normal so far, so we'll continue. Looks like I can combine some x's over here. So 13 minus 5 will give me an 8x. All right, it's looking great. And let's see, I got an x on the left side of the equal sign, some x's on the right. Let's combine these by subtracting an 8x from both sides. Now, as soon as I do that, you'll notice 8x minus 8x, 8x minus 8x, well, they're gone. I've lost all my x's. And you could even check back my work. I haven't done anything incorrect. They've just dropped away. Now, to make matters a little bit worse, notice what's left over. 20 equals 5? You know, no matter what math book I read, 20 does not equal 5. So this is a false statement. Now, this false statement is our clue that the equation itself has no solution. So I'm going to write that, no solution. So be on the watch as you're solving linear equations. If your variables drop away entirely, and you're left with some nonsense, you can be pretty sure that there is no solution to the linear equation. If you'd like to see some more videos, please visit MySecretMathTutor.com.